It's Engadget. I'm here with the Motorola Triumph. It's a brand new phone for Virgin Mobile. Here to give you a quick walkthrough of the design and the features here. So, first of all, you've got this 4.1 inch screen, and it actually looks a bit bigger than that in person, largely because it goes almost from the edge of the device to the other. The bezels are very thin, thinner perhaps than you've seen on some other devices. So, you really get a lot of screen real estate um, considering the size of the chassis. And it is a pretty thin chassis, just a pretty thin body here, as you can see. It feels very light in the hand and it's very soft and easy to grip. Um, anyone who's ever dealt with a Motorola Droid before should um, recognize this back cover here. It has just a very soft rubbery feel and it's just very easy to rest your fingers against it. This runs Android 2.2 and unlike a lot of other Motorola devices this does not have Moto Blur on board so while you will see a few widgets just built in there it doesn't actually have Moto Blur so it's fairly close to stock Android 2.2 um, just with widgets on top but not necessarily a whole uh, extra UI. So quick uh, tour of the device here you've got the usual set of haptic buttons here you've got HDMI out and micro USB. You've got the lock power button here. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a volume rocker. You'll notice that Motorola didn't include a camera key on this button just because um, it actually deliberately wanted to keep the sides of the devices pretty clean. And um, just, oh, and back of the device here, you can see rounding out the specs, you've got a 5 megapixel camera, which also shoots 720p video, and that, of course, is an LED flash next to it. So the screen's pretty, um, it's sufficiently bright, as you can see. It's just very responsive to um, my swipes and taps and all that. So really, this is a phone for, it has fairly middle-of-the-road specs, and it's not for someone who wants the flagship device. For that, they're going to go for the Pho Photon 4G, which was just announced today. So this is someone who just wants, um, you know, a great, uh, reliable Android phone, simple experience on the cheap. And we should know more about pricing and availability soon.